Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's more of an update video, but before all of that, um, I just want to say uh, my last video, or not last one, but the one before that, the Shinho one, is like so, it, it's doing so well. It's my second best video. It, it, it like, y'all help me be out freaking pregnant Rapunzel neck surgery. Like, that is an achievement <laughs> to have oh my god the engagement too like god bless y'all like seeing this number just feels so nice like it's my this is my second best video or my second best most well received video i don't know how to describe it i'm stupid the only one that beats it out is something that's been out for six years now apparently oh my god i am old jesus so like really from the bottom of my heart thank you to everyone who viewed that who commented who liked i really really do appreciate it especially when it's something as amazing as this um and something that I actually did put effort into and I did want people to see. I'm sorry again that like there are some things that um, I messed up. Uh, not like huge things, but little like little number errors, like about like 5% ish, like here and there. But I really do like, I, I, I appreciate it. Like, I don't know what, what else to say. Like, this is amazing. It's just great. Thank you so much. Um, but <laughs> oh, I also want to, I guess, piggybacking off of that. Um, I did want to bring up uh, my Yui Mia and Yunjin video and how there are some issues with that. Like uh, how there are a few times in the video where like there's some like visual errors. I don't know why that happened. Like it, it was going like perfectly fine when I like watched through it. And then I like put the filters like on some of the, like the stuff. And then I couldn't really watch back anymore because it would like chug my uh video editor would literally chug it was terrible so i couldn't like go back and make sure that everything like was working correct at least in the moment but i tried to before i added like anything that would like screw it up like massively like i it was specifically like certain filters uh that like i put on images that would like mess it up so and then when i like rendered the video it took like four hours to render that one video like oh my god it's the most it has ever taken and then there were like those errors and i don't know how to fix that i think it was like a render error because if i even like take off the filters i don't see that so i don't know and i don't want to have to like waste another four hours to possibly have the same thing happen again or gamble that something else is going to go wrong i'm not going to play a gotcha like a four hour gotcha like that's ridiculous but i did really like the style of that video and i think that whenever i make a yoi mia video from now on i'm going to use a similar style to that because that was like really fun to do and i hope that like i improve in the, f the future and try and like take out those errors if i can um maybe lessen the load on my computer somehow um i don't really know exactly how i'm going to do it but i do want to push out something that is just better for everyone all around and then there was one error where i said that it was Red and Shogun who scales off of attack speed. That uh, was incorrect. So I did make an error on that part, but um, I'm pretty sure I ended up mixing it up with Kokomi because I remembered Kokomi. And then I think I ended up writing down Raiden Shogun. Or not writing down, but like talking about Raiden Shogun. I don't really know why. That was just a one error that ended up trickling into being a massive error where I talk about energy regen. Um, Because Raiden Shogun does not scale off of attack speed. She can only proc the energy regen effect once per second for a max of five times during her burst, I believe that's what it is. Whereas Kokomi, it's every time that she hits like a normal attack in her burst. So I am stupid. <laughs> I made an error. I should have wrote it down and then double checked the stuff, but that was a video that I did not script. This is also a video I am not scripting because scripting takes a while. And then with this, I can normally just like go back and in between, I could just like pause wherever, like I need to like take a break or something and just, you know, not talk because I run out of ideas. I blank out and I'm just like, wait, what am I talking about? I'm a mess. Not gonna lie. I'm a freaking mess and a half. But continuing on, I want to, this is also a video about uh, my future goals and whatnot. Um, but before I get to there exactly, I want to discuss Shenhe a little bit more because like with Ito, I put out a guide before he was released. Um, and then I would, I wanted to update 
update the guide uh, if anything changed. Um, I did miss out on one thing, I think, and that was the fact that he could be paired with Mona, but I forgot about- well, I didn't- I didn't put her in the video, mainly because I forgot she's a character. I have a heavy bias against Mona. I'm just gonna say that. Let's just leave it there. Um, but back to Shenhe, I am not making a pre- release guide video for her. Uh, I definitely can for Yun Jin, and I might. I might like the day before or like the day of or something like that for Yun Jin, but definitely not for Shen He because Shen He has so many different variables that are weird and her constellations are messed up. And uh, I think I'm pretty sure either I'm misreading things or other people are misreading things because I'm getting like a bunch of different like conflicting information about her and how she works and what's going to happen, like specifically in her base kit, how her attack buff is going to work um, because it could be like an extra proc. It could be just an addition onto like their base attack for how or like the active character's base attack um, or current attack on how that works with the scaling of like um, like a Ganyu charged attack. It could be at the very end of it after all the crit is taken into account. Like there are so many different things that we don't know that would definitely impact how her buff works. And same thing with Yun Jin, but Yun Jin is a lot simpler in that regard, where you kind of just want to build one set on her and energy recharge on the weapon and you're good to go. Like Yun Jin's super simple, like she's not complex at all, whereas Shen He's attack buff has so many like different variables that can impact how she is played and how you want to build her. And there's also her constellations. Like for instance, I, I state in like my little versus video that um, her first constellation where she gets another use of her skill is her best because it allows you to double dip into her fourth ascension, allowing her to grant elemental skill, elemental burst damage, normal charge and plunging attack damage increase to everyone on your entire team but that might just not be the case i have heard that you can only pick one i don't know if it's going to be the first one or the second one or how exactly that's going to work in which case her first constellation is useless garbage it's bong water terrible and then her second constellation is pretty not good either it's just like a bit more what is it cryo damage boosting physical cryo dread and then cryo crit damage like that's all that at that point is going to be there for it's going to end up losing all of its stacks because like i think it's i think for her burst even if you have her c1 and have the max stacks i don't think that her burst will take up or no it will take up all the stacks but it will be done half like like it'll like keep like going out i think it'll like strike two more times if you have her c1 basically her burst lasts longer than her own attack buff will allow which is just stupid in my opinion even with her c1 and then at her when she has her c2 it you know will last even longer meaning that the later end of it will not be getting the attack buff um and then her c4 i'm just gonna read it straight out and characters under the effect of icy quill applied by shen he trigger its damage bonus effects shen he will gain a Sky Frost Mantra stack. So we're gonna take it step by step. When a character uses a stack of Shen He's Icy Quill buff, Shen He gets a stack of something else, a brand new type of stack called Sky Frost Mantra. So it's like a one to one ratio, essentially. Now that we got that out of the way, that there are two different types of stacks. They don't interact with each other. It's the only interaction is that once once one Icy Quill stack is used up, Shen He gains a Sky Frost Mantra stack. When Shen He uses her elemental skill, she will consume all stacks of Sky Frost Mantra. When Shen He uses her skill, she consumes all of the stacks, increasing the damage of her skill by 5% for each stack consumed. Max 50 stacks. I have heard of a lot of people in both comment sections of YouTube videos, both YouTubers themselves, thinking that this applies to Icy Quill buffs and whatnot. That is not the case. It literally says that it does not. That it is a completely different thing. I do not know. Sorry, this is like, it irritates me. This irritates me because I am kind of shaking right now a little bit Um, <laughs> because I am so confused how people think that they are together, you know? Like how, like why, it literally tells you that it doesn't work that way. This irritates me. It is only for her elemental skill and it only increases based on a percent. That being said, it also consumes the stacks. So it will, so if you have her C1, it will only be the first one. So if you use her, like the press of her skill first, you, you are getting less damage out of it too. So you have to use 
or hold version if you want to get the most damage out of her C4. That's all this is. It's just a buff to her hold version of her elemental skill. That's all that this is. It's just worded not even in a weird way. It's just done in a way that people are not used to, apparently. I don't know why people can't fucking read. It irritates me. It just irritates me. But her C6 is not what I wanted to talk about. It's mainly her C1 and how apparently... Uh, you can't double dip for her Ascension 4 with her C1, which makes it garbage, and then her C4, which uh, people think is going to help buff other characters, which it is not, because it literally says that it's not. Um, that's my little rant <laughs> about how I'm very easily irritated by um, misinformation, which is why I don't like to ha like have misinformation in videos, but like I don't. Sometimes it happens, and if it's super small, it's like, okay, it doesn't really matter too much. So... Shenhe's attack buff, her first constellation, and her fourth constellation are all the biggest reasons why I am not making a guide video on that because it's going to end up being completely inaccurate probably. I I don't even want to risk that. I'd rather wait and see. Like, because e even if it's something small, I could always just like bring it up in another video, you know, like more content. Or it's like, if it's something wrong, I need to take down a video. That's how I feel. Like, if it's something, like, heavily wrong, I, I have to take it down. That being said, I will release a guide video for her. Um, I do want to with the newer characters. I want to try with Zhao, but guide videos take up a lot of my energy, a lot of my brain power, and a lot of time, especially in the editor, because normally how editing works is what you see for the final product, it's, I would say, it takes me about, at most, six times that amount to make it. Is that the case? Probably more. Probably eight times. Just multiply it by 20. I don't know. If it's a 15 minute video, multiply it by 20. I would say generally, like the amount of time that it like takes. Um, especially like with the higher effort ones, like the Yoi Media one, where I actually like individually animated everything, like all of her little signs, like animated by hand. In the future, for my goal for 2022, is that I want to start uploading daily. I'm trying to get in the swing of that right now, even though it is hard, especially because of Christmas, New Year's. That's basically it. So that's my goal. I'm going to try and upload a single video, possibly more, every single day. Uh, some days I might not. Uh, some days I, I'll try to every single day, actually. And to help with that, I want to start a new series that is going to be relatively shorter with um, some research put in, possibly about five minutes per video. Uh, that's going to be the minimum that I want for it. I don't want it to be any shorter, but I hope those help me. Um, and those videos are going to be, I'm still trying to come up with a title. This might not stick, but it's going to be like a Can We Please series that is going to be based around things and mechanics and certain characters and designs and whatnot that I would love to see added into Genshin Impact because I think it would be super interesting. And I want to put like some heavy research into them, but they're short and condensed so it makes more sense. And throughout, I want to try doing more guides, but the guides are going to end up having to be they're gonna end up having to be less great because I am just like a single person and for the guides I have to do a bunch of research, write an entire script, try and make sure that script sounds decent at worst, and then edit the entire damn thing. Get my own gameplay, add in like the whole animations, transitions, visuals in the editor, wait for it to render, then upload it. That takes us so long. <laughs> it takes a really long time. Honestly, it could take like upwards of 12 hours. Um, and then there's also a game coming next year uh, called Elden Ring. And if you don't know, or if you haven't followed me since like my early days, I love FromSoft games. And then with an open world, uh, basically Dark Souls game coming out, uh, I do want to play that, possibly for my channel. I don't really know. I will bring it up uh, whenever the game is like about to release. I think that's like in February um, and I will see you then. But right now I am planning on specifically sticking to Genshin content and growing from that. And I don't want to be like that type of like YouTuber that's like, if we can reach like a thousand likes in this video, I'll... I don't know. Like, shoot my grandma. I don't, like, that's like, that's stupid. <laughs> Like, not, like, hating on anyone who actually does it. It's just something that I want to stri uh, stray away from because it seems poopy and stinky to me. 
Um, that being said, if uh, I get a million subscribers in the next month, I will uh, make an OnlyFans. So let's reach that goal. And if we're at 5 million by the end of 2022, I will uh, make it free for everyone for a year, for the entirety of 2023. So get, get, get subscribing. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's all I have for today. Uh, nothing else. There's probably just some Genshin stuff playing in the background. Uh, probably some Shinho footage. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyways, um, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I hope you have a lovely new year. And I hope great things are to come from 2022. For both of you and me. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye. <laughs>